So I had a request for a video from a guy named Fred with like 27 L's after his name on uh, how to deal with materials that grab. Uh, his was specifically about plastic, but it works with brass too. Um, and you can find lots of videos actually and stuff about modifying a drill bit for use with brass. So what we're going to be modifying is the cutting edge right here by my fingernail. And we're going to put a bit of a flat on it right there. We're just going to flatten that out very slightly. We don't actually have to use much. Um, and what you're trying to do is reduce this angle. This is called the rake angle. It works just like the rake angle on lathe tools. And if you reduce that to zero, um, then what happens is as the material, as the drill starts to break through the back side of the material, um, it doesn't have any rake angle there, it just kind of plows through it. Um, and on grabby materials, what usually happens with a sharp drill is it will start to break through and then it sucks the material up like an auger. Um, so by putting this flat right here on the cutting edge, um, we're going to reduce that rake angle down to zero so it's, it's less like an auger. It's going to uh, sort of shave off that material without wanting to grab and suck it up. Now on smaller drills, you could use a sharpening stone like this. Um, and it really doesn't take too much. I, I doubt we're going to be able to put enough of a flat on this with a sharpening stone. Um, yeah, that's going to that's gonna take quite a while. Um, so we're going to do it with a grinder, but you've got to be careful with the grinder because it's quite aggressive and uh, you're going to end up putting a, a large flat on uh, very easily. So you want to use a light touch and um, we are going to be using the side of the wheel, which you normally wouldn't want to put a lot of pressure on that. You can cause the wheel to break if you do that. So it's just going to be a really light touch and we're going to put as small a flat on it as we can. So there we are. I've put a bit of a flat on the edge. Let's see if you can get that in focus. You can see where it's shiny there. And I tried to keep it consistent between the two sides. Um, so uh, what that'll do is it'll just keep the, uh, the material from grabbing when it breaks through. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.